This video will guide you through creating your very own weight loss tracker on Google Sheets. In the next 20 minutes, you will learn how to Insert a mini calendar into cells to choose the date Insert a drop-down menu to choose units Highlight like cells with checkboxes Create a weight log with BMI calculator. Insert a live chat to visualize progress. And I will explain every step in detail to make it easy to follow. And don't forget to watch until the end to get this template for free. So now, let's get started. Step number one, add sections and label them. You need three main sections. The first one has six columns and five rows. The second one has five columns and two rows. The last one has six columns and two rows. Now, let's label them. The first section is my starting point. Here, we insert basic information like date, height, and weight. The second section is milestones. Divided into weight loss, reward, and done columns. The third section is weight log, where you record weight daily. Now, let's start with section number one. In the date cell, we insert a mini calendar in two cells for easy date selection. Select the cells, then go to data, data validation. Choose e valid date. And select reject input to show error message if incorrect input is entered. Next, insert a drop-down menu to choose units. Use data. Choose data validation. Now you select drop-down menu. Here, you choose the data range for units. and set it to show in an arrow for a cleaner look.
Now move on to section number 2, Milestones. We want units to be automatically added from section 1, so instead of just selecting cells containing unit data, we make units appear only when weight is inputted to look smarter and cleaner. So we're gonna use the EAT formula. This formula can check if cells B13 is empty or not. If it is, then the result is e blank. If it is not, then the result is e the value of cells E9. For the done column, you select the data range, then go to insert, choose checkbox. I want to highlight the cells, so uh, we need to select the data range, then go to format, choose conditional formatting, choose set a custom formula. Here you type this formula in so you type this formula in and don't forget to put the uh, dollar size to keep the data range fixed Next, for section 3, gridlock. Select all rows below and follow the same steps as explained in section 1 and 2 for date and unit. Weight loss equals the weight of the measurement date minus the weight on the starting date. From the next row onward, the weight loss or gain will be calculated by subtracting the weight of that day from the weight of the previous day.
calculation of BMI will be slightly more complex as it depends on the unit setups initially. Here I will still use the if function with multiple conditions.
after completing the input data part, now I will input a chart. Select the data range, click insert, choose chart. Select light chart in the data range, delete the last number and the table will automatically select all the data. Now let's decorate this spreadsheet. First, we need to change the font. I want the tracker to be cute, so I'll use the comic font. Then you can choose colors. I've explained how to choose color themes in other videos. You can add some image to the tracker to make it cuter.
Okay, so that's the end of our video today. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I want to give away this tracker for free to all of my subscribers as a gift. So please comment down your email to receive this template. Thank you and have a good day. See you in another video.